Now we will take a look at the poll vote component. Poll vote component will be responsible for showing the options to the user which they can pick and vote for or on the other hand if they already voted they will show the results in some kind of chart. For this we are going to generate a new component with Angular CLI, ng generate component and we call it poll vote. After we can see the poll vote directory has been created and we can again delete the tests as we don't need them. The poll vote component will be our details. So if you look at the website, we want the poll vote component to display exactly in this area in the detail view. Meaning when we select a certain poll, then the details will be shown in this area. In this component, we would like to show probably the question, the poll question, the voting options which the user had, and also button to submit. So let's create the title first, which we can call poll question title. Then we'll have a form inside which we will have the options, which would be the radio buttons in this case. So we can create a div of class form check, which is a bootstrap class. And then this div would be wrapping the input and the label. The input would be of type radio. We also give it some styling, which is form check input. And then we will have the label. And we'll give a class form check label and this would be the label for the radio button. In order to test this let's head to app component and replace the detail with the app poll vote which is the component which we just created and let's see how it looks like and we can see we have the title and we have the option. So now we need to also add the button and hook it up with the reactive forms. So let's go back to TypeScript file and create the form. Let's call it vote form and the type is form group. And we'll also need the constructor where we inject the form builder like we did in the previous component. And inside we initialize the vote form and this will be equal to form builder new group. And inside here we'll have just one value because we want to know which radio button was selected. So we can call this selected because you can only choose one option from three different options. And this will be equal to form group control. Initially it will be nothing and we will require this value. That's why we also set validators to require it. And we will also need the function for submitting the form. So let's create it. Let's call it submit form. And we just console log the value of the form just to see that it works. I will just make more spaces here. And let's also include some sample data so we can see the three different options. So let's call this options. And this will be an array of let's say Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And save and let's go back to the template. So again the first thing is to define the form group which is our vote form set the ng submit what happens on submitting the form we want to execute the function which we created submit form which will just console log the values and now uh, the trick comes because we want to uh, generate the amount of radio buttons equal to amount of options so for this we are going to repeat this deal so that means we will go with ng4 and let option of options we'll also need to know the index so we can say let i equals index. This will give us access to specific index at which the ng4 is currently at. And for the input we need to set it to form control name and all of them will be set to selected. And the value of each of each radio button will be equal to the index. So that means when we select first one, first option, then we should get zero. When we select second option we should get one and so on. We save and for the label we just display the whatever is the value of the option which in this case would be the name. After we have generated the radio buttons we also need some submit button which means it's button of type submit. We will give it some class such as button, button secondary and we'll get some margin from top so it's not so close to the form of margin top 3. And we call it submit vote. We also want to make sure that this button is only enabled that we are able to submit the form when the user selected some radio button. So we will disable this button when the vote form is not valid. So we put this symbol right here. That means if our form is not valid, the button will be disabled. And how it knows that our form is not valid? Well, in case the selected 
does not have any value, we have this validator. So initially it has no value, that means it will be not valid. And when we select radio button, then it will have value of index from 0, 1 or 2. We save, go back, check our website and we can already see we have some options. So let's open our console and see if that works. We can see initially when we are pressing the submit button, nothing is happening. But when we select, let's say Tuesday and click submit vote, we can see that selected is set to 1, index 1. When we select Monday, it should be set to 0 and it indeed it is. And when we select the last one and submit the vote, the selected is set to 2. So it is working as expected. But we are not done yet because in this component, not only that we will need to set up the inputs and outputs later on, but in this component will either show the options if the user did not vote but if the user voted we also want to show the chart with the results so this component is also responsible for displaying the chart 